All right, so it's possible that you saw the latest update for the Precision FlySafe database, and usually it's pretty easy to update unless you're using a Crystal Sky and the uh, Sendence um, remote controller. And so if you push the update button, you're gonna get a nice little message here about connecting things, and even if you connect them, whenever you click OK, nothing happens. So um, the nice folks at DGI actually post on the forum how to fix it. So I thought I'd make a quick video to kind of show you how to do it. So the first thing you gotta do is we're gonna back up here. We're gonna turn everything off. We're gonna start out with the, um, with the Inspire 2 here. Then we're gonna turn off the Crystal Sky. And we're also gonna turn off the Sendence. So everything is turned off now. And then we unhook Descendants here, and we plug into the micro USB on the side. We can't plug into the large USB here, plug into the micro USB. And then we're going to take the Inspire and we're going to turn here and plug this in on the side. And of course, we have to um, toggle the switch up. There's a switch here that I don't know if you can see very well, we just toggle that switch up. Um, and so now we're all set. Now what we do is we basically reverse everything. We're gonna start out by turning on the crystal sky. We're gonna turn on the remote controller and we're gonna turn on the Inspire. We're gonna wait for just a second for everything to warm up. And hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, we're going to get our update message again. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna hit it one more time. This doesn't work, we're gonna try it a little different way. What we'll do is then we'll unplug the USB controllers or the USB cord here and let's see if it works. Okay, so finally we've gotten that um, we've gotten that done. Of course you'll see down here it says connected with the aircraft. It tells me to update the database, which I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna say update now. And it's downloading. And it says that uh, the database has been updated. So now we're going to restart everything again by turning off. We're going to go backwards with turning everything off. And we'll flip this back, flip the cord back to the computer. And plug this back in up here. And we'll turn on the controller first. And we'll also turn on the Inspire. And hopefully this message will have gone away and we will have successfully updated our Inspire. So it's like we're checking all the firmware and everything. Hopefully, we should get all everything is okay. And if we do, then we have the latest versions. And it appears that we are in good shape to fly our Inspire. So, um, hope this helps you out. And uh, thanks for watching.